Joining me now, the chairperson of the Government's Employees' Pension Fund, Dondo Mohajane. Welcome, Dondo. Thank you very much. Thank you for, thanks for having me. So, Dondo, we're drawing to the end of an amazing two-day conference that the GEPF has hosted. What have been the key themes that the GEPF has been trying to get across this year? Look, I think we achieved what we wanted to do. We wanted a conversation to happen, a conversation that says, here are challenges facing the globe, here are climate, challenge, uh, climate change challenges, and what do we do about it? How do we balance responsible investing vis-a-vis uh, -vis the imperatives of some of the things that we need to do, including funding uh, climate change, uh, ensuring also that ESG principles are entrenched in, in what we do and how we fund. So I think the conversation happened. But what is also key and what is very important, you'll pick it up is in terms of what I said when I opened the conference yesterday. I think for me, I said it's important that we, among many factors, we also have to use the pension funds as tools for transformation. The funding that we give to fund managers and asset managers has to be used to transform not only the financial services sector, but many sectors out there. So Tondo, it seems to me as the government and policymakers and regulators, as well as the financiers, which are the large pension funds, need to hold hands in this just transition and in ensuring sustainability for future generations. Oh, secondly, yes. I mean, look, we've got, we've got uh, you know, emissions that are way out, out, out of control and we, we need to really be responsible um, and, and, and hold hands with governments and say, as government, um, what, what is that that you want to do to ensure that we've got mitigating and, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, and, and adaptation me measures that we must put in place to ensure that the impact of climate change is minimized. Um, so, they, you know, if you look at, for instance, South Africa, uh, we've got challenges around, uh, you know, we're among the high emissions in, in the world. And how do we do, how do we ensure that clean coal technologies are applied? that will ensure that we emit less so that we can address essentially global warming. So it's important that that communication and consultation happens. Absolutely. And after my discussion with Daniel Minele, who's the head of the Presidential Climate Finance Task Team for South Africa, he highlighted that there's been a lot of regulatory updates and changes that are going to support this green movement, such as the green taxonomy, which is a new thing. Yes. How is the GEPF embracing this? Look, we, 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 are, full, we are fully behind uh, some of the things that the government wants to do through uh, the commission that, uh, that Daniel Minele is, is, is supporting. Um, and we, we stand behind, we are behind that because it relates to what we are all about in terms of um, responsible investment, responsible, um, you know, financing arrangements that as GPF we have, we have uh, you know, uh, agreed on. Um, and this obviously we've translated to all the investments that the PIC as, as, a, as, as a body, as a fund man, as our fund manager must actually invest in. So what Daniel was saying now in his in this closing remarks, I mean, um, is this something that uh, as a GPF we, we, we will support and we will fund, uh, but however, <coughs> sustainability of the fund remains key and we have to do that very responsible or responsibly of course absolutely yeah. so dondo any closing remarks as the conference comes to an end look i think it's important what i said the gpf should use its muscle to actually ensure that transformation of financial institutions in south africa um, uh, is implemented um, i said i give some statistics around white male controlled banks um, I gave some statistics about non-representation of women, both black and white, as CEOs and CROs in banks, including generally Africans who are not represented fully. So, and I said in the conference that if none of the people that we fund are going to ensure that this happens, they will have to fall off the GPF, GPF bus, unfortunately. I mean, we have to ensure that these investments, what we make, recognize that South Africa's um, you know, situation has to change and change for the good in order for us to reflect the demographics of the region and the demographics of our country. Absolutely, Dondo. I think you highlighted a very important point there. Thank you very much for your insights. Thank you. Thank we you for having me. Time.